Hey everyone, welcome to Jersey Corner, I'm Casey Bryant. Today we're looking at an easy one for me, the blue and orange home alternates of the New York Mets. The Mets introduced these as part of their full-time rotation in 2013. In 2011 they had used a blue base for their Latino Heritage Night jerseys, and they liked it so much that they decided to drop the loafs and make it a staple. Latino Heritage jerseys are funny. It's not like we revamp the design to make it look like it's a Mexican League jersey, we just kinda add the word los. We will honor a third of our players by adding the Spanish word for the. Truly we are the masters of race relations. Blue jerseys had been used before by the Mets in spring training and in warm-ups in the 2000s, but they hadn't made an appearance in the regular season in quite some time. In 1982, the Mets introduced a jersey very similar to this, blue base, orange script, but as a pullover v-neck. It lasted only a year, and they replaced it with a jersey that also had a blue base, but silver script, very similar to their road alternates now. Those jerseys only lasted for two years. 1985, the Mets decided to scrap all alternate jerseys and just go with a traditional home away kit. Nearly 30 years after the blue jerseys were introduced, they're back now as the traditional button-down. This one doesn't feature any kind of patch on the left sleeve, but from 2014 to 2016, these jerseys had a running Mr. Met on the side. This year they replaced it with a traditional patch logo. Gotta say, thank god. I mean, don't get me wrong, Mr. Met is cool and all, but featuring a mascot on your jersey is corny as anything. It's bad enough he's on the spring training hats, just let him meander the stands on his own. Actually, no, uh, best to have some supervision with him. It's the quiet ones you've gotta watch. From the time the blue jerseys were introduced to this past season, the Mets used a blue hat with an orange bill. This year they switched to an all blue hat. Now, the one with the orange bill, it's sharp on its own, but coupled with this jersey, the whole ensemble is very bright and very flashy. That said, it is so much better than the all blue hat. The whole thing just looks very monochromatic. It makes you feel like you're watching the Colorado Avalanche, and no one should have prolonged exposure to the Colorado Avalanche or their horrid blueberry jerseys. I do like the return to color the Mets went with on these jerseys, too. For a while there, they started to shy away from their loud and proud blue and orange color scheme. In the 90s, they darkened their shade of blue to really more of a dark navy, and in the 2000s, they introduced black alternates. While the black jerseys are nice, muted colors is really more of a Bronx thing. You want to step out of Big Brother's shadow? Be the anti-Yankees. Be bright, be fun, and be colorful. Like how the Red Sox all grow out their hair and beards to spite the Yankees? Own it. Be your own thing. The Seven Line Army has embraced it. That orange blob out in center field is great. City Field in general just has more color to it. It makes it feel more vibrant than Yankee Stadium. Now before you say, Oh, you think the Yankees are less fun to watch than the Mets? Aaron Judge could die tomorrow and he'd be a first ballot Hall of Famer. It's not what I mean. People associate the Yankees with winning. Not necessarily with fun. All I'm saying. Since the Mets switched patches, I dig the layout. I personally love the color scheme, but I acknowledge that for anyone who's not used to it, it can be a bit jarring. The Mets are the only team in the MLB that use a blue and orange color palette. Layout is clean, hat gets negative points, but all in all, these are sharp alternates. This is my team and these are fresh threads, but in the interest of impartiality, I'm going to give these a 7.5 out of 10. I like them, but if I had to see them every day, I'd probably get sick of them. Blueberries and whatnot. Every jersey has a story. If you want to hear about my masochistic Mets fandom, be sure to check out my long-form story on the Get More Sports YouTube channel. Be sure to subscribe and download the Get More Sports app today. And as always, if you have a jersey you want me to review, tweet me at CaseyBryant51. Thanks, let's go Mets! This is Jersey Corner.